Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi has been accused of using his political position for private gain. All right, mm -hmm. and this private gain includes sexy women. <laughs> all right, so he's been accused of um, basically getting a 17-year-old girl off criminal charges for theft mm -hmm. in Italy. So she was actually arrested in Milan for allegedly stealing 3,000 euros from a friend. And after she was arrested... That's her? That's her. Mm. Um, and her, her name is Karima Kayek. Uh, after, She's of Moroccan descent. She is of Moroccan descent. After she was arrested, uh, Berlusconi came to her rescue and uh, told... Uh, authorities to let her go because she is uh, an Egyptian uh, princess, an Egyptian president's daughter, actually. It, right, H Hosni Mubarak's daughter, uh, which is totally not true. He was just interested in her sexually. Okay, she's right. 17. Okay, now she's 18 a, now, but at I that know, time she right. was 17. So it's okay to be turned on by her now because she's 18. Uh, but uh, now Berlusconi is 74 years old. Here's the thing, right? You're hooking up with... Uh, you know, young woman significantly younger than you, date, 24 years old, you're 74. I say, have at it, Hoss. More power to you, right? Uh -huh. I mean, come on, you're the leader of the country. Just a little older. That's all I'm saying. I mean, bounds of reason, right? Right. You're chasing after 17 year old Moroccan girls. Uh, it, you know, if they were a little older, I could actually rally to his side, right? I could say, hey, you know what? The guy's living life. <laughs> he's living large, okay? And, and he's amazing. He, he does this over and over. There was another 18-year-old that he was a family friend. He went to her birthday party and uh, tried to stup her. You said this. I, I mean, how old is he? He's, he's 74. 74. And uh, <laughs> at the time that he got her off of the theft charges, she was 17. Um, but it's interesting. I read more articles about this. And he allegedly gave her, at it, Valentine's Day when she was 17, gave her 7,000 euros, a diamond necklace, and a car. No, no, this guy's a pervy wanker. No, no, no. no come and on. Then, but hold on for one second. She claims that they have had no sexual contact whatsoever. She's like, oh, he's like a dad to me. He takes care of me. Yeah, he's your daddy. <laughs> oh, he's definitely your daddy. Um, you know, I don't know. It's possible that he's, this is all an attempt on his part. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, that's right. Uh -huh. We want to be clear. It doesn't mean they did hook up anything. He, but here's what we know. Berlusconi wants to. He definitely <laughs> Okay. Does. Right. He has no intentions of having, like, just, you know, uh, paternal instincts towards her just right. to protect her for her own good. It's just that she happens to be attractive. That, that's just a wild coincidence. And he happens to like 17 and 18 year olds in general. That's okay. also a wild coincidence. Anna. Okay, the interesting part of the Berlusconi story is um, so he was questioned about these allegations, right? And you would think he would try to find a good way to defend himself, yeah, he right? He didn't care. Yeah, instead of defending himself, he threw himself under a bus, right? In the worst possible way. This is his quote He said, I love life, I love women. It's better to be passionate about a beautiful girl than a gay. Uh, so wonderfully random. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So he's like, first he's like, they're like, hey, you, you, it looks like you try to sleep with a 17-year-old, right? And you lied about it. You use your office. He's like, I love women. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> he's like, what are you going to do about it? I, I, mean, I mean, this guy is like our Republicans, right? Yeah, totally. And by the way, he's been around for like 58 years. We got rid of Bush. Bro, he's going to steal around in Italy. But basically, he does this, right? He, he, like, he opens up his jacket and he's like, what are you going to do about it? Okay? I like beautiful women. What are you going to do about it, huh? Okay? Now, and he is Italian. Okay, but then the second part is awesomely random, where he's like, ah, you know, at least I'm having sex with girls. Oh. Yeah, okay, but better than the gays. Not, yeah, how does that help your case re, at all? But it's a gay, right? A gay, right. <laughs> so, uh, at least I'm not a gay. Um, so he winds up being, you know, adding terribly homophobic, et cetera, uh, it, uh, on top of all the problems he's already had. You know, I, I'm not in any way, I don't think the first part is surprising at all. I, 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 that's what I would have expected. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't hide from it in any way. Maybe this is too much and this is too extreme even for Italians, but there's no way he would cover it up. He'd be like, yep, I like her. Have you seen her? <laughs> you know, uh, I don't know about the gay. I, I'm sorry, I, for a brief moment, of course, even after you'd said gay, because, you know, there's never a point where anti Semitism isn't cool. Um, that he was going to be like, at least I'm not a Jew. <laughs> yeah, wait, yeah. wait, that's no. probably around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm not a Jew, I'm not a gay.